an exoskeleton that allows soldiers to run faster, carry heavier loads, and leap over large obstacles. A bee that flies over terrain for reconnaissance purposes. And even a flying car that can take off and soar like an aeroplane. This is the future of military technology as imagined by ST Engineering, Singapore's leading defence equipment developer and manufacturer. The largest exhibitor at Singapore Air Show 2012, with more than 50 exhibits in two main sections, showed off some of its latest military toys. These included these unmanned ground and air vehicles built to withstand harsh environments while keeping their operator safe from a distance. The newest unmanned air vehicle, or UAV, is the Skyblade 360, which boasts enhancements over the previous version, the Skyblade 3. It is a long endurance aircraft, uh, ranging between 3 and 6 hours endurance, depending on whether it's using batteries or fuel cell. Uh, it's, it has an extended range as well of uh, 15 kilometers as compared to 8 kilometers for the Skyblade 3. Basically, it carries, uh, currently carries the EOIR, a camera, a day and night camera. Uh, it could um, enhance it by using other payloads depending on what else they want to use the system for. The UAV does not require an operator to fly it. All the operator needs to do is to chart a course for the UAV to follow. Okay, the UAV is actually a fully autonomous system. Uh, you use this system here to actually plan the route that you want to fly. Uh, and this is the payload video that comes from the UAV. Uh, the systems here allow you to pan and tilt uh, the video to point to the point of interest. It's actually an operation-based uh, system, so he will focus on uh, using the payloads rather than flying the air vehicle. While the Skyblade 360 gives soldiers an aerial view of the battlefield to help them plan their strikes, there is another robot that is designed specifically to be a soldier's eye before entering unknown territory. Also known as Unmanned Ground Vehicles, or UGV for short, these hardy gadgets are thrown from a distance so they scope out buildings before the soldiers enter. One that you, you just throw is called a tactical throwing sensor. The, one, the bigger one is actually called the forward sensor system. They are actually surveillance robots that can help the soldiers to do surveillance of the environment before they are deployed. Most of the time we do not know what's actually happening ahead of us. So we are sending all these robots, all these surveillance robots to go in front to look at the situation first before we can plan out the necessary actions. Soldiers in the field can see what the UGV see through a central display control from a safe distance. Another new innovation from SD Engineering is the Robotic Articulated Wheel Vehicle or RAW-V for short. This unmanned ground vehicle has a unique suspension system that allows it to maneuver rough terrain which other UGVs cannot. Its superb mobility allows it to climb stairs and even cross wide gaps. Based on the vehicle, you can see that there are six wheels and every wheel actually, the arm is free to rotate and besides the arm rotating, the, the wheels on the front and rear axle, so-called the, the outermost uh, wheels, can actually pivot again. So with that, we can achieve different types of mobilities. Lower the vehicle height, uh, roll control, climbing step that is more than, more than its own height, and also crossing gap that is more than half the vehicle length, which cannot be achieved by conventional vehicle. The raw V's design can also be applied to build a much larger vehicle. For example, surveillance as a small class, or even up to a big class, it can be a logistic support, um, also for combat, like mounting a weapon system on it for fire support and mortar, yeah, for, for example. For logistic support, for example, you have a, a flatbed mountain on, on it, then you can uh, share the load of the infantry squad, you can carry full packs for them, uh, water supply and etc. For more military tech toys, airplanes, and war fighting systems, do visit the Singapore Air Show 2012. The air show is open to the public on the 18th and 19th of February. Watch Razor TV for more reports on the air show.